Hey what's up guys, welcome to Deuterium Tech. In this video, we're going to show you how to flash the BIOS of an Asus motherboard, the one with the flashback BIOS utility or feature, what do you call that? The one with the USB BIOS flashback feature. So this feature allows you to flash the BIOS of a motherboard without ever needing a CPU or RAM. So first thing that you need to do is to prepare the USB Put the BIOS here. We're going to cut and show you how to do that. To prepare your USB flash drive to update your BIOS, head over to this URL. It, the link will be in the description. Enter the model number of your motherboard. So this is only for ASUS, obviously. So that's a Strix X570E. Select the motherboard and select driver and utility. Once it loads, select BIOS and firmware, and then show all. Then select the latest BIOS that is not the beta. You can actually use the beta BIOS, but I want, I want to be sure that my system will not fudge up because of anything. So I'm going with the non-beta version. This is already okay if you are going to try to run a AMD or a Ryzen 5000 series CPU. It has to have an update for the AM4 Agesa, Agesa, AM4 Agesa patch. So it has to have this. So this BIOS will not work for Ryzen 5000 CPUs. This BIOS and everything after it will. So just click download. Once it's done downloading, open the folder where you downloaded it, extract it, open it up, and then double click or run this executable file so what this does is it just renames this file and then head over to your flash drive format it just to be sure format it to fat32 the other file systems will not work hit start and then double click on it open it and then copy this file in here now your flash drive is ready to be used to flash the BIOS of your ASUS motherboard. Now that we've shown you how to do that, we're going to proceed with flashing the BIOS on this motherboard. So what you need to do or what you need is other what you need other than the motherboard is a power supply and you need to plug the power supply, the 24 pin, you need to plug it here and the 8 pin, you need to plug it in. Of course, that's the only place you could plug, but what I mean is you have to plug in the 24 pin power connector and the 8 pin power connector for the CPU, even though you don't have a CPU. Next, take your flash drive and plug it in here where it says BIOS. So that's the feature for the BIOS flashback. Just plug it there, power on your power supply. You will see your, uh, you will see your motherboard light up. It means it has power. Now, the next thing you need to do is to press the BIOS flashback button. Okay, so I, apparently I have to press and hold, and we're going to do that right now. And there. I see some LED flashing, means it's starting. Okay, it started to blink quickly. Earlier if, remem earlier, if remember, it's blinking slowly. So what that means is that the BIOS has been successfully read. Now, our indicator of it successfully being installed is if that light goes off. If it turns solid, it means that it ran into a problem and we, might, we may need to do it all over again. That's pretty scary because there's no way to check why it happened. The only thing we can do is reformat the flash drive, and re-upload or re-input, re-transfer the BIOS file. Let's wait a couple more minutes and hope that it installs successfully. All right, so um, it stopped blinking, which means that it successfully installed. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is put a Ryzen 5000 CPU here, put some RAM, and hopefully that's all that I have to do. Thank you for watching, hit like if you like this video, dislike if you dislike it, let me know in the comments what you think, did you run any problem trying to do this method, let me know in the comments and of course don't forget to subscribe.